Welcome to Bosch's technical support on demand video series. DVAR IP appliances defaulted device IP configuration. If deploying new Bosch video devices in a non DHCP environment, all devices will be configured with their factory default IP address of 192.168.0.1. Initial configuration using the configuration wizard is not possible. You will have to use BVMS Configuration Client to configure static IP addresses to all of your new Bosch IP cameras and encoders. From the kiosk menu of your DVAR IP appliance, select the BVMS Configuration Client icon on the far right hand side. You should be prompted to log into Configuration Client. The default username is admin with no password. You can use the default loopback connection address of 127.0.0.1. This should be present in the connection drop down menu. After logging into Configuration Client, select the Hardware menu option at the top and then select the Initial Device Scan submenu. BVMS will perform a network scan for all defaulted devices with the IP address of 192.168.0.1. Devices can be individually configured with specific IP addresses based on the MAC address if you wish. To configure all the devices with a random IP assignment at one time, click the Select All button. Then right click the highlighted devices and select Set IP Addresses. The Set IP Addresses menu should appear. Enter the starting IP address for the address range that you're going to use. Select the Calculate tab and the In With section should auto-populate. Select the OK button. After selecting OK, you should see the devices populated with the IP address that you just assigned. Right-click again and select Set Subnet Mask. The Set Subnet Mask pop-up menu should appear. Enter in the subnet mask that you wish to configure the devices with and select the OK tab. After selecting the OK tab, you'll be taken back to the initial device scan menu. You should see that the IP address and the subnet mask are both populated. Once again, select OK. You should receive a message that if the IP addresses have been changed, the devices will be restarted, and it may take a moment for them to actually restart. Select OK. After selecting OK, close Configuration Client. This will take you back to the kiosk interface. From here, you can now configure and commission your system using the configuration wizard. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you.